guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing this dramatic makeup look here, um, complete with cream, contour, and highlighting. So this is a very full coverage, very intense, dramatic makeup look. Um, this is something that, sure, I would probably do on a daily basis, but you wouldn't have to. But this is very dramatic. Um, it's not an everyday look. If you wanna see an everyday look, go to my last video there. It's gonna show you right here so you can see that. That is very everyday natural makeup look. This, on the other hand, completely different. This is not everyday <laughs> natural. So if you guys are interested in getting this makeup look, please stay tuned and we will get right into it. So this is about to all come right off here in a second. <laughs> Thank you guys. So I did this look a while back. I'm gonna show you on my Instagram. I did this look and I put it on my Instagram and um, I'm going to try to recreate that look today. Um, I posted on Facebook and Instagram and like everywhere um, that I wanted you guys to pick what video you wanted to see next and that was the most commonly picked one. So I'm going to try to do all of them that I posted, like a tutorial on every um, thing that I posted, but this one was definitely the most requested one out of all the ones that I had you choose from. But I just thought that this would be a good video for you guys to see, a little bit more dramatic, get kind of an idea of how to do the cut crease thing, um, and hopefully I can answer some of your guys' questions. So why don't we get started? Okay, so to get started, we're gonna prime the eyes with concealer. So this is really important because we want this part to look very like clean and clear when we're doing the eye makeup. And since we're gonna have that one little piece that doesn't get covered with eyeshadow, we don't want it to look all veiny and weird. Do you see my nails? Aren't they pretty? I got the chrome polish. We're going to be using the Morphe 350M, which is this palette here. I'm going to be using, I think, all of the shades from this. I might use a couple that are Makeup Geek shades, um, but this is my favorite palette for doing these like kind of warm looks. So the brushes I'm going to use are these kind of blending brushes. Just to give you guys a little heads up, these are my favorite blending brushes. Um, these darker ones are the newer ones, the lighter ones are the older ones, but they're the Elite Collection by Morphe and I'm so obsessed with these brushes. These are E22 and E23. I'm going to take the E23 brush and just take that light shadow and set the concealer all over. I'm going to take a little bit of this scotch tape about that much works just fine I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand like that peel it off a couple of times one more time I'm going to start with this lighter color and then build it down this row here so we can build up some darkness. I might even go in with this one. This is right underneath of these lightest shades in the palette. When it comes to these creases, I like to start in the crease. Um, that's what we want to build up first and then we can kind of cut it out. So I will show you how we do that. The reason we want to go all the way up here is because we're going to cut that out later so that it kind of goes up into that wing shape. We're going to darken this just a little bit, starting right there. And this part does not have to be perfect. Okay, so you can see this top part up here is very unblended. So right now we're gonna go in with um, a bigger brush with one of those lighter shades and blend that part out. Taking one of the lighter shades in the palette and I'm just gonna be blending that up there. Okay, so that's pretty dark, but we do want it darker right in that crease area. So when you see when I open my eyes and look up, right here is where that crease is. And you can feel that like right in there. And if you don't have a crease, you can go ahead and make one now. I'm gonna take the pointed part of this brush and push that right into the crease. I want this to be a little bit warmer, so I'm gonna take a more orangey shade and just kind of buff that into the crease a little bit. If 
For this part, it is very important to find a very flat and stiff brush to cut out the crease. This is like a teeny tiny little Revlon brush that I've had forever. I honest to goodness don't know where I got it, I don't know why I got it, and I've never used it until I started doing cut creases. So if you find, I just haven't bought one, I need to buy a Morphe version because I'm sure it's better, this one's old, the bristles are falling out. Um, but you just need to find one that's very stiff like this and very um, rounded at the top and that's going to help you with your cut crease. Some people like to use eyeliner brushes to do it as well but this is like my favorite way. Another thing you want to do is find a um, concealer that works for you. I like the cream concealers that aren't too creamy because I don't want something that's super oily. Um, but this is not a concealer, it's actually a foundation. It's by uh, Graftobian. Okay, so we want this part to be winged up here and then go all the way in. So I'm going to start right here. And right down here. Okay, so we did that part. So now we need to bring the tail out here. And this is just like doing eyeliner, just with concealer. I'm going to use that same brush with a little bit of lighter shade on it. So that we don't have to worry about that concealer moving. So next we have eyeliner. This is the Maybelline Blackest Black Gel Liner. As you can see, I use it a lot. This is the blackest eyeliner I've ever used, so this is the one that I'm going to keep using. You can get any eyeliner brush, but this is my favorite one. This is the Sigma E06, I believe. So I just dip my eyeliner in here, or my brush in my eyeliner right here. And what really helps is I wipe it off on the edge so that it creates that kind of like perfect point. So I'm going to start on the inner corner. That's nice and safe right there. And I don't want this to be too thick. kind of this starting point of our eyeliner. Okay, so the trick is with this is you want to have this line follow this line. All right, you see what we did there? We followed that so it created that kind of little line right there. Okay, and you can bring this in. We're gonna go over this whole part right here with glitter so it doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, so you want this outer corner to be the darkest, so I'm just gonna go over that one more time with a little bit of eyeliner. Make sure it's nice and dark. And you could, so I'm gonna go in with glitter right through here, and you could leave it um, like this. But I like to do, I did a little bit of black eyeliner on the crease when I did the picture as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, I can't talk through this, but I'm just going to kind of stamp the eyeliner everywhere that I want it. All right, so you can see I messed it up a little bit on the inner part. We're just gonna clean that up with concealer, and I'm gonna darken this part right here. Then we're gonna buff out this eyeliner with a little bit of black eyeshadow. Because there is no black in that palette, I'm gonna use this black shade by Makeup Geek. This is Corrupt. I'm gonna use this little teeny tiny brush. Um, it's by Skull, but I don't think it has a number or name on it anymore. And gently kind of gonna press and pull that up. This is the Morphe E36 brush. I'm going to take a little bit from the Morphe 350, some of those darker warm browns, and just buff that into that crease. 
With that concealer one last time, I'm going to go in and clean this up. And I'm going to take this really light shade and pack that right on top of that concealer. So for the glitter, I'm going to be using this M326 brush by Morphe. It's kind of a flat brush. I usually use this for lips, but it makes really good um, to get glitter in the right place. It is OCC um, Beige Glitter. You can see right there on the back. This is in beige. This is a very, very pretty glitter. I'm like obsessed with this one. And the Ben Nye Glitter Glue. And you want to be careful not to um, crease up your eyelid when this glitter is still wet. The same rule applies with this glitter that we want it to follow that line, so I'm going to bring this up a little bit. My best tip for the glitter to keep it from creasing or anything like that is to use a very light hand and the less glue that you use, because a little bit goes a long way, the less that you use, the less it's going to crease or flake off later in the day. Also, I will spritz my face, I will spritz my eyes right after doing this glitter so that with some setting spray so that it will stay. Our final step is to touch up the liner. I'm going to be using Flutter Lashes. Um, these are in the style Intoxicating. I don't have the box for them because I've already used them. Alright, so that's with the lashes. I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye and brows and then we will be right back. So I'm going to take some of the darker shades from the Morphe 350 M palette. Alright, well I'm going to be using the E36 brush to blend this out and I'm just going to right here so I like to do the darker out here and you have it lighter on that inner part so I'm going to use a little bit of champagne pop for the inner corner so I'm going to use that same brush I just dusted it off I'm going to take the Sigma EO6 brush and the Maybelline gel liner in black is black to do my inner corner liner. Okay, so to get started on my face, going in with the Scandinavia Primer Spray. Like usual, the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. So I'm going to put that on areas of my face that have any kind of texture. I'm going to take my M439 brush by Morphe and my Makeup Forever Ultra HD and 123 this is what matches my neck currently so we're just gonna and I like this foundation because I feel like a little bit goes a long way All right, so I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Weightless Concealer in Light Warm. And since I do have very dramatic makeup, I'm doing this 
just as dramatic. So for our contour, I'm going to be using the Morphe concealer in, it doesn't have a name on it. Oh, I think, I want to say this is, this is not macchiato. I thought it was macchiato. I will list it down below. I lost the little sticker that was on it. Okay, so just to help blend this out a little bit, I'm going to be taking this Miracle Beauty Oil by Blissful Body, and I'm going to put this on my beauty blender. So I'm just going to squeeze that in there, and I'm going to start with the highlighted parts first and then the contour. RCMA No Color Powder and I'm going to press this underneath of my eyes and to bake. I only have a little bit on here and I very gently press that in with a light hand. And the biggest thing is, is you just want to pat this in, you don't want to drag this at all. I'm going to use the Custom Enhancer Drops in Moonlight for my highlight. I just take a couple of drops, and by a couple, like I literally mean like one or two. I'm going to gently pat this on. And so to just tone this highlight down just a little bit, I'm going to go in with the RCMA No Color Powder, and I'm just going to pat this underneath of my eyes, and that is going to tone down that highlight just a little. So I'm going to go back in with Moonlight, and I am just going to put this on the tip of my nose. Okay, so I'm going to take my big fluffy brush, this is my E1 by Morphe, and I'm going to put this all over. Okay, so I'm going to be doing contouring now, and these are the Makeup Geek contour pans. I'm going to be using these two shades here, this is Bad Habit and Love Triangle. These are the two shades that I use when I am pale, these are the shades that I use when I am tan, just because that's what works for me. Um, but I do highly recommend these, I think they're super easy to blend out, I love them. They come in the best shades, um, and they're like huge pans for a pretty good price. So I'm going to be using the E59 brush by Morphe for my contour, it's kind of a pointed I mean, I wouldn't say pointed pointed, but it's like, I don't know. But this E59 brush, I haven't seen anybody else talk about this brush, but I love this for contouring. I think it's awesome. The only reason I grabbed it is because when I actually physically went to the Morphe store, I saw it and I was like, okay. So I just wanted them all. So this was one of the ones I threw in my ridiculous basket. So I'm just going to go in with that darker shade right there to contour slash bronze. And since this is more of a full coverage intense look, Normally I would just go in with the powder, but I wanted to do the cream contouring as well just to give it more defined um, since I was going ham with the eye makeup, I figured I might as well pull out all the stops for the rest of it. So I go in with the lighter shade on the temples and across the forehead and down on the neck. So we are going to bake in this video, so I'm going to bake while I do my nose contour. 
Um, so I'm gonna just take some powder and really pack it on my sponge like this and just go down through here just to clean up that contour. So <clears throat> again, this is not necessary for doing your makeup every day. Definitely not necessary for doing this makeup look. But I will say I do like to bake on my clients if they're in a wedding and they're gonna have an outdoor wedding and it's hot. Good reasons to bake for sure. I feel like I will bake my upper lip um, and my chin, this area, and right here in my the center of my forehead because that is where I sweat the most. Um, so I feel like if you bake, you can kind of sweat through it and it's still gonna stay. I mean, also obviously you wanna use setting spray too, but that helps. So I'm just going to and right down. So this part is gonna get messed up on my nose, that's fine, I know that, that's because I'm gonna do my contour for my nose. And you can let this sit however long you like. I leave mine on to do my nose contouring and the eyeshadow underneath of my eyes and then I wipe it off. But you could only leave it on for a minute and then wipe it off, that's fine too. And since I have to film this, I might just do my nose contouring and then wipe it off. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that lighter shade. Oh, I'm sorry, I should tell you. This is the E47 by Morphe. Such a bomb nose contour brush. I swear to God, I couldn't do my nose contour before I got this brush. I would avoid doing nose contours on my clients if I could because I wasn't very good at it without this brush. I just, I feel like this makes it so much easier. So I'm just going to press the product Kind of just tapping it where I want it, right there. And that loose powder kind of lets you mess up a little bit. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be perfect. So then I'm just going to drag the nose contour down, like so. And then I'm just going to dust off that powder, gently blend that into the sides, and then we have a snatched nose. Snatched is such a weird word. I don't actually use that. It's a contoured nose. <laughs> it's trying to be cool for a minute. Did it work? Okay. So I'm going to buff all of the bakage off. Is there a real word for that? Is that the real word? The bake-ness? It's just gonna clean up. See, it's not that dramatic, but it just cleans up that contour a little bit. And lets that foundation sit in really, really good. Okay, so our eyes are completely done, so I'm gonna be going in with the um, Makeup Geek Main Squeeze blush, which I think is so pretty. It's like not too pink, but it's not too peach. I really love this blush. So I'm gonna be going in with my Morphe E4 brush and Dusting that on the apples of my cheeks, just a little. So the very last thing I'm gonna do for my face, my lips aren't done yet, but for my face, this is the last thing. I'm gonna go in with the Champagne Pop Highlighter. I can't cover these mirrors. Some people are good at that. I'm not one of those people. I'm gonna go with the Champagne Pop Highlighter, my Morphe M501 brush. The M5, like one through 10 brushes, I think, or like M509, M508, M501, M510. Those are all pretty good highlighting brushes, I think. I think I've used almost all of them for that. Um, but this is the M501. This is one I'm gonna grab. This is one we're gonna go with. The M510, which is another one that I use a lot, is just like fatter. It's like bigger and white, but it's like fatter. This one's a little bit more pointed, a little easier to get right where I want it. So, all right. Up here, yes. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yes. And on the side. Right here on the tip of my nose. And then if you want an extra highlight, so this is not enough for you, which on some days it's not enough for me either, but today I'd probably be good with it. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of Champagne Pop on my brush, spritz it with my setting spray, and then focus that right where I want like the extra gleam. See what I'm saying? 
Do you see what I mean? For my lips, I'm going to go in with Anastasia of Beverly Hills. This is the Stripped Liquid Lipstick. For my lips, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stripped Liquid Lipstick, which is seriously one of my favorites. Okay, so once you've done your lip, now just set with setting spray. I use the Scandinavia setting spray. And yes, I take a bath in this. Okay guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this works out. It's so hard to like film what I can't see out of one eye. <laughs> and try to film up close of the other eye of what I'm doing and I can't have my mirror like right here in front of me. That is a struggle. So hopefully you guys like it. Um, a little fun fact, the highlighting that I did in this video is the same highlighting that I did in the when I went to LA and I got to go to that makeup geek party. Insert picture here. Um, I posted this picture on Twitter and Jaclyn Hill I don't even I don't even think I tagged her I don't even know I posted on Twitter and she saw it and she tweeted back to me and she was like girl that highlight or something like that and she asked for a tutorial on the highlight so um, outside of the cover effects drops this is what I did but anyway thank you guys so much for watching go follow me on there's Facebook there's Twitter there's snapchat and there's Instagram Instagram is my favorite I also have a website caitlinboyer.com if you are interested in booking information or anything like that business inquiries are all welcome um, on there there's a contact page all that stuff so thank you guys again so much for watching I hope you have a wonderful day and if you try this makeup look do me a favor and hashtag me or tag me on Instagram or Twitter or something and let me know that you tried it so that I can see so thank you and I will see you guys all next time. Apparently my eyelids are dry today. That's cute. I'm going to be making a mess because that's what I do. I feel like half of this video is going to be the top of my head because one wrong move and I will have messed up everything that I did. So I'm not going to do anything because I've done too much. Um, these are the shades that I use when I'm warmer and then warmer <laughs> when I'm more tan because I look more warm toned because I'm tan. Just gotta let him do it, I guess. Samson, no! No! Okay, so I'm gonna be using. <laughs> Samson! This is a joke. I don't know what you call it. I think it's actually called pointed contour brush. Probably. I've been buffing out my nose contour a little bit on this side because I didn't realize that it was not as buffed out. Listen, we all make mistakes. Okay, so the last thing. <laughs> what? The last thing? Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> I don't even laugh. I'm like retarded and then I don't laugh at it. Like I just am retarded and go with it. Okay, so after you get done, a little, uh, uh, bleh. Mm. gonna take the hair down. That was like really intense. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like my camera, like I can see it physically moving. So the biggest trip I could trip. My memory card just got full while I was filming that part. Okay, so to end this, can you see that? I feel like my highlight would have been even more amazing. <laughs> the hair flip. <laughs> it is 11.32 at night, and I don't want to take my makeup off because I have to get up at like 5. And no, I'm still not in bed because I have to get up at like five and go do makeup clients and look pretty and I'm gonna have to redo my makeup. <laughs> and this took me so long. 
and I'm really proud of it. <laughs> ah.